this is Phil Ebner back with another great lesson in the After Effects course. Last time we learned about keyframes and what they are. Today we are definitely going to look more into that subject and we are going to be animating position and creating a motion path with an object. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my brick wall for an example. So I'm just going to bring my brick wall in and then I'm just going to drop the size. I press S to bring up scale and drop down the size. So say we want my brick wall to move from left to right. We just want it to go across the screen. First, we're going to uh, we're going to put our brick wall over to the left. Put our timer over here on the left side of our timeline at the start and we're going to bring up position so press P to bring up position we're going to press the stopwatch and after we press the stopwatch we can move our brick wall wherever we want it maybe we want it at the bottom so we're just going to move it to the bottom left of our composition outside of the frame then I'm going to go ahead 10 frames and I'm going to move it across so you can see me moving it across the bottom I'm holding shift so it stays at the same uh, on the same axis so now between these frames it moves across in motion so let's see I'm gonna render that out and wow that is a fast moving brick so let's make this a little bit slower. To do that we're going to make it have more time between the two keyframes. So I'm just going to take this keyframe and drag it to 20 frames. So that's a little bit better and maybe we just want it to slowly you know go across the, the screen. So maybe we'll make this three about three seconds. So there you can see it going slowly across our screen. So let's do another example. So I'm going to delete these keyframes. I'm going to increase the size of this. I'm pressing shift to, and increasing the size to keep the aspects, aspect right. Maybe we want the, the brick wall to pop up from below and then pop up. So I'm going to go to the end frame of our animation. So we'll say one second and press the stopwatch and go to the start and move it down. And if you don't want to click and move down, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard. And then I'm going to render it out by pressing control zero. And there we have our brick wall rising up. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we want it a little bit faster. So that's a cool animation right there. One thing we can do to make our animations a little bit more natural, I think I mentioned before, is to turn on the motion blur. So click this box next to, uh, with the three circles next to the title. And if you don't see that option, go ahead and click this toggle switches modes button and you'll see it appear. And make sure you have the three uh, circles enabled up here as well. So I'll render this out and I'll show you what it looks like. So that looks a little bit more like uh, a little bit more natural for motion because it's a little blurry. And as you saw right there what I did, I can select multiple keyframes and move them together. So there we have our wall entering frame. Say we want our wall to exit the frame at three seconds. Well, let me show you what you can't do. So you can't just move our wall off of the frame like that because let's see what happens this way. Uh-oh. See, it is slowly moving down. It doesn't pause at the start. And that's because we set a keyframe right here for it to be at the top and then we set a keyframe and we told it to be at the bottom and in between it's animating it. What we want to do is first delete this one keyframe 
go to three seconds, set another keyframe by pressing this diamond, or clicking this keyframe, copying and pasting it, and then going ahead and then moving this out of frame. Or maybe we can even move it up out of frame. Pressing shift and the keys, your up or down key or left or right key will move it a little bit further than if you're just uh, pressing the arrow keys one by one. Okay, so now let's see what this does. So it goes up, and then it goes up out of frame. So that's a good little animation. So this could be a start of a title sequence. You have it up, then we animate some text on here. So we'll do that. I'll just show you simply how to do that. So let's add some text. We'll say, uh, we'll call this, uh, we'll, we'll call this Alley Cats with a Z. That's pretty cool. We'll put this in the middle, and I'm going to use my uh, title action safe to get it centered. Just about like that. I see this plus sign uh, there uh, to help me center it with the title action safe. I'll take that off. And then I'm going to edit this text a little bit. Uh, first, I want to make sure that it's centered text uh, alignment. I'm going to change the font to uh, maybe cracked is pretty cool for this this uh, this animation and then I'm gonna change the color something that is you know will stand out from the red background uh, maybe a light blue something like this might work um, I mean that's a pretty ugly title I will be honest about that maybe let's just do a black something like this just straight up black might be our best option for now um, and then we are going to animate this on to the screen so our brick comes up and then we'll have our alley cats title come in from the side so this is our final position so I'm gonna go right about here bring up position set a keyframe and then go back right after the brick wall comes up and move this off screen this way to the left so it'll enter the screen left and then I'm gonna move these two keyframes for the brick wall a little bit further so we have more time in the alley cats text I'm going to copy and paste this keyframe and go a little bit further and we'll move it to the right I'm going to enable motion blur render it out and see how it goes Alley Cats, there you go. That's a pretty cool title sequence already. Um, you could even add, you know, maybe a little, uh, a little um, subtitle, add, you know, more text popping up or something like that. That would be cool. Um, but I think you get the idea for how to edit position. I just want to show you one more thing, though. Um, when we're talking about keyframes and uh, motion, maybe we want something to move in more of a curve than straight line. So I'm going to make this text white so that we can see it. I deleted our brick layer. So I'm going to delete these keyframes as well. So maybe we want this text to kind of go from here up and then down. So I'm going to set two keyframes, one at the start right here and then one at the end over here. So now we have this animation that just goes from left to right. But maybe we want it to have a little arc. So I'm going to go right about in the middle of this. So about two, sec two and a half seconds and move this up. So then we have this arc and you can see by the red dots there's this arc. We can play around with these little um, bars right here that come off the side to make it more of a smooth arc and then let's see how it does it so there we have this curve and so that's how you create curves is by setting multiple keyframes and playing with those little bars that come across we can make it go down a little bit here 
maybe up here we'll make it go a little bit down as well so we'll see how this looks I don't know why you would do this but I'm just kind of showing you how you can move your text maybe this is a bird flying in the sky or something instead of text flying across your screen alright so that's it for now this is making an animation with keyframes and in for position and path until next time have a great day we'll be talking about creating a opacity transition or a change in opacity uh, using keyframes in the next lesson have a great day and we'll see you next time